Hello everyone, this is Hinukon, and today I'm here to show you how to fix the stuttering issue that a lot of people are having in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Now to get right into it, this is how you fix it. First, press the Windows button and R key on your keyboard. In that run box, I have percent local app data percent forward slash FNAF9, as in Five Nights at Freddy's. Now if you don't want to type that, you can copy it straight from the description and paste it in here and you'll be fine. Once you press enter or the OK button, you'll get this new window. Click on saved, then go into config and a Windows No Editor. What you're looking for here is the game user settings.ini. You may not see this .ini unless you have the extensions set to be shown. I'm using Sublime Text to open this. You can use Notepad if you like. But when you open this, you will then see this window. Now. In this window, you were looking for your frame limit limiter. You can just do a quick search and boom, there you go. Frame rate limit. This by default is set to just zero. I've locked mine in at 60. Now also, if you need to turn on VSync, you can again do a quick search and boom, VSync. This is by default set to false. I have set it to true. Now, go ahead, save. And if you did this while the game was on, go ahead and quit the game and then restart it because it won't actually take effect until you restart the game. And once you've done that, you should notice you can move all over the place and you don't have any more of those weird little stuttery issues. Now, I will say this, if anything in the world is loading in or you're going in between levels because of that insta load technology they're using in this game, you will get stuttering when that happens because objects are actually loading in. But otherwise, through normal gameplay, when you're walking around in a level that's already loaded up, you should not have any more stutters, even on Ultra. So that said, I do hope this video helped you out. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. It's the only way that a YouTube channel will grow. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Later.